What's up, my furries? It's Dr. Wookie. We're going to be going over Gala Music, some rewards and some numbers. Talking about a little bit of math there about a possible node uh, scam. And don't forget to head over to my Twitter. You got about 24 hours left to go ahead and enter into that drawing, which is for a $777 Galaxus engine. If you haven't already, check this out. There's my link to the video above. Uh, incredible project, incredible team behind it, all docs. So let's talk about the, the node project that's possibly a scam real quick, just because I get a lot of messages, right? I like to check up on things. And if you have any cool node projects you wanna have me check out, please link them below. I love looking at nodes, running nodes, all that kind of fun stuff. So Jellios here uh, looks like a really cool kind of Bitcoin rune sharding um, like project that they got going on. And of course you can run a node, you can buy keys and all this, but talking with the team and everything, essentially, anonymous team right which of course is like uh all i think about is like ring nodes and how i got burned on those right because if they just walk away there's nothing you can do now it looked like a cool project it really did but the team they sent me this this exact cr number blah 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 jellios technologies limited and it was like founded in 2011 here and it's now dissolved was dissolved in 2013 so of course that's weird and then they sent me the address for the company which is literally an apartment building in hong kong so once again, maybe it's a legit project, but I mean, there's just no way I am going to be wasting my time anymore on any like anonymous kind of teams and stuff. And that's why I like the Galaxis so much. It's super, super cool what they got going on. So let's jump over to uh, Gala Music here. Talk about a couple of things. So there's been a lot of talk about the signature editions, the pioneer editions, and how that all kind of rolls out. And of course, if you're looking for some Web3 analytics, Hato Shoto, his website, if you have his token, uh, which you can ping him in the Discord, he's got some cool analytics that you can kind of review. But let's go over some numbers. Oh, and as as it is apparently Righteous Jay, Jay from City of Sound, his birthday. And uh, Fox dropped this on Twitter. Look at this guy. Sweaty. Look what I'm wearing. City of Sound hoodie that I'm wearing that I had to steal back from Mrs. Wookie. All right, so happy birthday to you, Jay. All right, let's talk about these Gala Music numbers, okay? So if you look in the white paper, right, we have our like tiers, signature, pioneer, limited, standard. We got the supply limit. We got, uh, I guess this is maybe the 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 possible price right because artists apparently can actually alter the price a bit and the distribution multiplier so whenever it upgrades to the next edition right uh you get a one-to-one -one drop so if you own a signature edition and it up upgrades to pioneer you get one of the pioneer drops so the things people have been complaining about number wise and we'll discuss a whole bunch of things here is when you first purchase a signature edition let's say you buy one one track right so you have one of 100, so you're going to get 1% of the earnings of the gala music uh, during at the end of the day, right? Depending on how many tracks and how many listens that we got. So if it upgrades to the next track, okay, and let's pretend the next, the next tier sells out too, okay? So we upgrade to the next track. So you get dropped one to one, one of those tracks, and now it's a two to 400. So you have two tracks of 400, but... It's not that simple. We gotta do some math because we got some distribution multiplier here, okay? So you can see the math that I did and essentially what happens is you have 35 distribution multiplier and you're gonna divide that by 6,500 distribution multiplier. And so now your earnings have changed from that 1% to 0.54% or about half a percent, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about how this can kind of be different depending on, on uh, uh, value of the tracks and earnings, but we'll get into that in a minute. So just to kind of give you an idea of where like the artists are coming from, right? So beforehand, and this isn't talking about bronze artists, we're talking about silver artists. That's so like September morning, City of Sound, I think, please and thank you. So how it was uh, before we kind of did this change is the silver artists, they would drop 300 tracks at about 125 bucks. Actually, it was 125 bucks. That's how they all dropped it, okay? So in the end, the total uh, revenue generated would be $37,500. Now, 70% of that goes to the artist. So when they changed the, to the new uh, edition, okay, the silver artists, now if they're dropping 100 signature tracks at 100 bucks, and like I said, they can change or alter the price, which I did a ton of math on that to determine how they could maybe play with it. But anyways... 
at 100 bucks, that's 10,000 bucks, right? So let's say they upgrade to the next Pioneer Edition. Now, they're not selling 300 because 100 of those get dropped for free, right? And so they're selling 200 at 75 bucks, that's 15,000. So we're at $25,000. So still not quite at what they could have made if they sold out uh, just the Legacy Edition 300 tracks. Silver Artist, okay, now they can sell 600 Limited Edition. Why? Because 1,000 of them are, are in that tier. 400 are getting dropped to the Signature and the Pioneer Edition track owners, okay? And so that's at 50 bucks. So if they sold that whole thing out, they would earn 30,000 from that. So of course that would be like, what, 45, $55,000 if they sold out three tiers. So that's a lot of tracks to sell out. Now, if we're looking for just that 37,500 to make it even, right? Essentially they would have to sell 250 tracks at the limited edition tier to equal what they would have earned at the 300 tracks, 125 bucks, okay? So what I wanted to talk about is obviously the silver artists, right? I've seen some of them chatting in the Discord and stuff. And that's because this really kind of changes for the artists, like how quickly or how much they can earn. The other kind of issue was uh, these don't upgrade right away, right? So if people are coming in and they're buying your 100 tracks and they sell out, the upgrade isn't happening right away yet because that wasn't built in. And so they don't have an opportunity to just kind of keep that momentum going and, and see more and more tracks, you know, sell and sell and sell. And then so... You know, that kind of sucks. Now, I heard it's supposed to get to the point where it automatically upgrades, but people who are earning don't want to see that either, and you know, an automatic upgrade, because they want to see their 1% of earnings earn for, you know, a week or whatever. But for the artists, it would make sense for that to upgrade right away. That'd be the most beneficial thing for them. So the big thing here, though, is, is if it is a really, really popular track, okay? So let's say you bought a track that's not as popular. So it's, it sells out the signature edition, no more sell. So you're getting 1%. But let's say the earnings for the entire day is, uh, let's say 100 gala music, okay, for, for this track that's not as as uh, popular. So you get one gala music a day, okay? Now, if it is a very popular track, and so let's say it sells out the signature edition and sells out the pioneer edition, okay? So we got 400 tracks out there. And let's say it earns, um, you know, 4,000 music, okay? So originally with that 1%, you'd be earning 10 music, okay? But because it's down to half a percent now, you're earning five music. Now, technically you're still earning more than you would have with that other track that's not as popular. But of course, right, That's this is what people are looking at, numbers. These are like the numbers people are looking at. It's it's a little harder to kind of do the, the conceptualization of, of the possibilities and stuff, right? And so, you know, if you wanted to earn the same, you'd have to buy two of the Pioneer tracks to earn 1%. So this is kind of what's been, been discussed in the Discord recently. You know, Gala Music is in a, a is a brand new thing. And, oh man, I don't know if I say it, but Kitty Blaze had posted something on there about, you know, how this is like definitely, a, they're pioneers, right? This is a new place that they're heading into, which is of course cool. Um, and we're going to have to get it figured out right together and, and what the best best kind of thing is playing with the distribution multipliers doesn't really work because uh, for the pioneer edition you'd have to have it set at one distribution multiplier the signature at 20 for it to still be one percent uh, when it upgrades so it's really tough to kind of decide how this would work you'd have to either crank the distribution multipliers way up on the original ones it's this is this is tough, and I don't have a, a clear answer. I've had some ideas. Maybe I should write some of them down. I've seen other people with ideas. There is definitely a in between of you know loving the artists, getting them the the you know the benefit, and then of course loving the fans as well. So I expect us to keep trying to find you know uh, what the perfect thing is. Um, this is tough. I love reading community and, and kind of ideas from the community. And the other thing is, is I, I think they are giving a node to, to each of the bands and stuff too, to be able to run as well as like a copy of their track. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, and then I don't know exactly how the music distribution is going, but, um, uh, the artists are supposed to get a, a portion of music distribution as well. So it's, it's definitely been fun to see the evolution of this. Uh, I, I want to see it continue to evolve. I'm excited to see that. And then of course, Gala Film, which will be coming up, um, I'm really intrigued about and see how that's all going to roll out because um, that could be really, really cool. 
And then, of course, waiting for the integration of everything, waiting for orbs to be able to get more track slots, because that's the other thing is you get dropped an extra track, which is cool, but then you have to have another track slot to, of course, you know, pair that in there. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other projects you want me to look at um, node-wise. And uh, as always, stay warm, Wookiees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.